Welcome to the Anne Princess, which is 1,400 nautical miles south of Hawaii, and we still have two days of sailing before we hit land. We are so remote right now, it is unbelievable. We could not be further away from civilization if we tried. And I want to talk to you about the internet. The internet is really, really good. It's really, really constant. It's not perfect, but it, it's constant. We can connect to Facebook, we can connect to all sort of the third party websites, we can even watch videos. It takes about, you know, 10 seconds to buffer the thing. But I'm, I'm stunned as to how good the internet actually is. Bear in mind last year on the Sky Princess, the internet was downright horrific. It was awful. You couldn't even boot up Google, it was that bad. And that was Northern Europe. This is the middle of nowhere, and we have got decent coverage here, and I, I don't know a lot about internet, I don't pretend to know how all this works in depth, but I know that the internet usually is relayed by masts, so when you're on land you have these giant cell towers, these ginormous masts which communicate the Wi-Fi to you and your internet and everything is good. And obviously at sea you don't have that, you don't have that, so you rely purely on GPS and satellites, you have got to get your internet from the satellites. And of course, if you own a satellite, if you're Elon Musk and you have a satellite, you're going to put that satellite above somewhere like New York, where you have several million people that will use it. You're not going to put your satellite in the middle of nowhere in the Pacific Ocean. And that is how I understand the internet with Princess Works. And yet, we are here 1,400 miles south of Hawaii. There's nothing anywhere near us. And I can still upload videos. I can upload, which is probably the most strenuous thing you can do with the internet. I deliberately keep my videos short so I can upload them. And kudos to you, Princess. I'm very impressed with the coverage that we have. Whatever problems we seem to have had in the past with the internet, they appear to me to have been fixed. I heard rumors last year they were changing the internet provider. This is not concrete. This is nothing official, but this is just what I heard. Um, and then I also heard that Princess's prices were going up. They were charging more for their internet package. Now, they couldn't really charge more for a service that didn't work. So it made sense to me they were changing the provider and then being able to charge more for the internet. And if, like I say, if it's working here in the middle of nowhere, I think it's going to work absolutely fine in Europe. So I actually get to Europe in about three months on this ship. So I will give her a good test and give it a good run for its money then. But whatever problems they have had in the past, I think they have been fixed. So if you've seen any horrendous reviews about the internet on the princess ships, I think you can now disregard them because they seem to have fixed those problems. Well done, princess. Goodbye for now. I'm going to go and uh, reinstall Disney Plus because I got rid of it because I didn't think I'd be able to use it. But the way it's going, Mandalorian Season 3, I'm getting ready for you. So now I have internet, I'm going to try something that I wanted to try last contract and I completely forgot to do it. But I'm going to boot up my old friend Tinder. I know I have Alejandro, this is purely for entertainment purposes only. But let's see what happens when you boot up a dating app in the middle of nowhere. Just change all the settings, I don't know what these are all like, I've not had this for a long time. So we've got an age range, let's max that out, 100 year old, why not? And we'll limit this all the way down to one one mile so i mean this should should only be people on the ship i can't see me matching with fish or anything like that oh my god there's someone straight away does it say where you are it's all in chinese korean i don't know what that is okay is she from the ship no i don't think so no pictures of her in a uniform so okay let's see what happens if we batch or no, okay uh Again, are you on the ship? 45 kilometers away. I I don't know if this has worked. Maybe uh, no mention of Princess. I don't think she's on the ship, so I, I don't know. No. I'm very handsome, aren't I? All these matches, I'm doing all right here. Um, 7,000 kilometers away. So, bear in mind, I've set my thing to one mile I don't think it's working very well maybe because no one's here it's just putting me all around the world so we'll like you as well okay yep I'm so handsome thank you no picture one kilometer away are you on my ship I can't tell anything there's no pictures all right okay at least one kilometer away that's in French I mean we're kind of near French Polynesia maybe that's where you are but again it's not a mile away 
All right, Charlotte, French again. So I don't know. Again, not on the ship. No uniform pictures. So all right, whatever. Molly. So I think we can gain here. She's in Seattle. I think we can gather here that Tinder doesn't want to work. So nice idea. So note to self: you can't use Tinder in the middle of the sea. Mm -hmm.